for the Art Squad! Today, we're going to be creating comics with Keen. So bring your pencils, paper, and imagination! Hi there! My name's Keen Sue, and I'm a cartoonist. I've uh, written and drawn graphic novels, uh, some of them such as Jellybee and March Grand Prix over here. Um, and I just thought today we'd get into creating our own characters. One of the th important things about uh, creating a character is that they're built out of really simple, basic shapes. If you think about really iconic cartoon characters or comic characters, they're really built out of very simple, simple shapes. If I were to just draw these three circles, what does that look like? Who does that look like to you? Mickey Mouse, right? Because Mickey Mouse has these two perfectly circular ears on the top of his head, and then he's got uh, his actual regular head and the rest of his face will be on there. But the thing that we recognize immediately are the ears on the top of his head so that you can recognize his character right away from his shadow or his silhouette or his outline so you don't even need to see his uh, face to be able to recognize that that's Mickey Mouse coming around the corner. My favorite example and it's just a regular rectangle, right? But if I add just a couple of features like hands and feet. Who does that look like to you? SpongeBob SquarePants, right? And that's because uh, his shape is almost exactly describing his name, right? He's almost like a literal square. He's a rectangle in this case. But I don't need to draw any of the details in for you to recognize that that's SpongeBob SquarePants. He's built out of these really basic, simple shapes. For my own characters, that's sort of the same thing that I do. So Jellyby, for example, has a big round head and his body is just like a cylinder or a rectangle. And so whenever I'm uh, drawing him, that's actually the first two things that I draw. I draw the head, which is a big circle. And then his body as a cylinder. So that's where, what I start with here. And then uh, it's adding all the other details in. Um, the hands, hands and feet are always the hardest thing for me to draw, but if you think about the shapes that your hands are made out of, um, you can really s simplify it and make it very easy to draw. So the palm of the hand I always look at as just a simple circle, and the fingers are just little cylinders or sausages that are sort of connected and they're just coming off of the hand. So when I draw the hand, I'll always draw the palm of the hand first, as little circles. Also the arm is the same thing, right? The arm is basically made out of two cylinders, one from your uh, shoulder to your elbow, and then another one from your elbow to your wrist. So they're just simple, two straight lines that sort of connect together. And this is why stick figures work so well for comics and in drawings, because we can recognize that the two simple lines that show uh, an arm uh, can communicate that really, really quickly. So that's why I, th I think stick figures are a really great way to sort of draw your characters as. So I'm just adding fingers to the hand here. So we've got the hand, the palm of the hands, and the arms. And Jellybee's feet, in this case, they are sort of rectangles. So they're just like boxes on his feet. And then I'll add the knees. And that's basically it. You can really see the shape of Jellybee. You can sort of see, you can still see the shape of his head as a big round circle and his body as a rectangle. And so now all I'm doing is I'm adding in details. Uh, one of the most important details uh, is the face. Um, and in this case, Jellybee's got these big round eyes, which are just a whole series of circles. And so I've drawn the, the eyes and I've filled in uh, sort of the center of the eye black, but I li always like to leave a little white spot in the eye to sort of s communicate uh, a bit of life, uh, that, that there's light reflecting off of his eyes. Uh, and then once that's in place, everything else are smaller details. So Jellybee's got this kind of triangular mouth. He's got these triangular stripes on his head. And he's got a horn on top of his head, which is also a triangle. And... 
Now I'm just adding the rest of the details. So he's got a belly that's just a few lines. He's got toes. And then he's got a big tail. And then he's got a pair of wings on the back of his body, which are kind of blocked by his arm here. So I'm just filling all in these detail, all these details in. And I'll just give him a little shadow underneath him. And that's Jelby drawn real quick. But you can still see the shapes that he's made out of, right? You can still see the round uh, circle of his head and the cylinder and the, the rectangle of his body. And so these are all the simple shapes that we use to sort of build up um, a character as we're, uh, as we're creating them. So what I want you to do is I want you to sit down and with a, uh, a pencil or a pen uh, and some blank paper, uh, just draw out certain shapes. You can sort of pick and choose shapes that you think would, uh, that you wanna, that you think are fun to use and play with and start adding in details like uh, a face, um, hands and feet, and you can sort of build that up. So for example, um, I can draw uh, a picture of my dog, um, who's a very long sort of tube. He's almost like a, I like drawing him in the shape of an L. So in this case, I'm just gonna draw a long tube like that. I'll leave a little space for his nose, right? Simple shape like that. And I'll add on the snout his, his, the, of his uh, face, like that. It's almost like a C or a U on its side. And then it's adding in other smaller details like his face and his nose, which are all just sort of round circles and dots. And his ears, he's a chihuahua, so he's got these sort of really pointy fox-like ears, so they're just basically triangles that sort of come up off of his head, like that. And then he's just got these feet, which I can sort of simplify into little sticks. And I'll just add in the rest of the details, like his tail, he's got a big bushy tail, and it's sort of stripy in the back, and I'll sort of make him, give him a smile and sort of make him look a little furry. And maybe I'll have a hair or two sort of coming off the top of his head. But that's my dog. Very quick and easy. Um, so yeah, and you can use all sorts of different shapes uh, to make different characters. And you can just sort of have fun with it, right? Simple shapes maybe even uh, sort of patterns and designs. So I'm sort of drawing a hamster here. I'm gonna have a sort of triangular nose and maybe some polka dots, maybe they're sort of a spotted hamster. Maybe we'll just sort of draw a little shadow so that they're jumping and having fun. Right, and so the shape of the body is just uh, an oval and, uh, and just, just adding on details to sort of make this character. So I want you guys to have fun and uh, create, these, create your own characters using really simple, basic shapes. Um, start with a couple of shapes and then add on more and more uh, until you get a character that uh, is really uh, interesting and fun to draw for you. So I hope you guys had fun. Um, I'll talk to you again in another video. Uh, we're gonna sort of expand on these characters and give them expressions and emotions. And uh, I'll talk to you soon. Thanks. Psst. Do you want to join the Art Squad? Be sure to follow and subscribe so you can see what the squad leaders have for you next.